Hello guys, welcome back to RPEG Electronics. This is Ray. Today I want to show you some basic troubleshooting steps uh, for your KV5 Pro, uh, V5 Pro uh, karaoke system. So the first step is always to go to service, settings, system maintenance, song scan. Now your song scan may be in Chinese or English depending on what version you have, but I'm on the latest uh, YouTube uh, compatible version here we're gonna do a quick song scan so what this is gonna do is rebuild your song library if you've added songs via USB you just did a, a system upgrade you did a system reset or if you happen to notice that some of your songs aren't showing up because you downloaded a song and then maybe it cut out halfway your Wi-Fi went down pretty much anything to do with the song list this is gonna be your first step to re uh, to rebuild everything Okay, so now, after this, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do a factory reset in case this doesn't resolve your issue. So this only takes a few minutes, actually. Okay, so we finished our song scan. Going to click confirm, okay, and back. And that's going to be your first step. All your songs should now be showing up properly, all right? Now the next thing that you want to do, if that didn't resolve your issue, this is pretty much the last resort. You go to settings, system maintenance, other setting. And when you do this, I'm gonna give you guys a heads up, you need a USB mouse to plug uh, into your system. Because once you do this, your touchscreen frequency is gonna revert back to 19200 and most of you will be using a 9600 band touchscreen. So basically, after you factory reset, you're going to not be able to touch your screen. So you need a USB mouse to re-enable it. So you're going to go to Restore Factory Settings, Confirm, and it's going to reboot itself and restore the factory settings. It's very important that you do not power off the system at this time. Let it reboot by itself. It knows what to do. Okay. If you try to power it off by yourself, you're going to end up with a machine that's halfway... Uh, reboot it. It's not going to do anything for you. Okay, so once we've rebooted, you're going to notice everything is going to be back to original factory settings. It's going to be in Chinese again. Let's change it back to English. We're going to press the service icon. Let's go to language. Let's pop it back to English first. So we're going to go through our initial setup. Service. Settings. We're going to type in our password. 347 four three seven note I'm still using a USB mouse plugged in to do this now I want to turn off password I want to turn off the voice control function that's pretty pointless okay I'm gonna to go to system maintenance we're gonna re-enable our touchscreen now by going to other settings set up system change it to 9600 and your touchscreen should now be enabled Okay, close that out. Uh, rolling text, we can clear that out. That's the advertisement text on the top. I usually like to get rid of that. Okay, other settings. I want to go back to web because I want to use my phone to pick, uh, my internet browser to pick songs instead of using WeChat, which is much slower. Confirm, and it's going to reboot itself. And we're pretty much done. After we reboot, you, you should be good to go. Everything should be perfect. All right, if you guys have any questions, please comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for new videos.